Hey you guys, it says recording now. Okay, hey you guys. Um today I'm gonna do uh Sisterhood of Hip Hop season two episode five. Um it was a cool episode, so it gave me something to talk about at least. Um Naima and her friend Michelle went to a tourism con uh class or whatever. And Saya, they invited Saya, and I'm like, y'all really invited Saya to twerk? Okay. But Saya gets there, ain't, ain't no way in the world Saya is about to twerk. So, but she came to watch, hey, good sport, support, and all that good stuff. Um, but, oh my gosh, she was so funny. She had me laughing so hard with that selfie stick. Oh my gosh, she was so into it. That was right up her alley to just go and be entertained and watch the girls twerk. I think that would be a fun class for a lot of girls to go to. I think I'm going to have to look that up. Um, then they, they have this girl named Chloe, you know, that was at the class with them. And, you know, she kind of low-key flirting with Saya. Saya low-key flirting with her or whatever. Um, she's the, they say she a rapper in California. I guess she's based in San Diego. That's probably why I don't know who she is. Um, but she just like them. She ain't no big name out, out in L.A. I don't want nobody to think that Chloe Riley or whatever her name is, is a big star in L.A. Nobody has heard of her. She does grind and just like the rest of them. But this is why I say support your local artists so people can get to know who they are. Um, so when they do have shows like this, people don't be looking at them and side-eyeing them and, you know, guessing their talent and stuff like that. So support your local artists wherever you are, I'm just saying. So she invited them to her performance that she's having and or whatever. So they all agreed to come. Saya said she's going to ask the other girls to come, and that was cool. Then you have Saya in the studio. Tank is there, you know. She worked on her song. I didn't too much care for it, but maybe I have to hear the beat with the song. I don't know. But Tank come, and he's excited for her. He's, um liking the song or whatever and he's been since they signed they deal over he's been more um supportive with her and he's been showing up the thing so that's a good thing a good look for him she hasn't been you know no entourages in the studio with her so that was a plus for him um but he did tell her if they're going to be around let them work for her um so then we have brianna and her mom kiki i don't like kiki I don't. It's nothing about her that make me say I root for her. Not nothing at all. Um, so they all excited about this uh, ugly girl song. It's finished, so they pumped up. So um, her mom end up Kiki end up calling E class or whatever because they want to do a video now to ugly girls. They don't want to put it out. They want to put both of them out together. So they called him because they need more money to shoot the video or whatever. But when he, uh, when they called him, he was like, okay, the song is good. Remember, he told them he need a great song, not a good song. So um, he said the song was good or whatever. So they got mad that he said the song was good. So they wanted him to wire some money. And he was like, no. He was like, no, put the record out first. Let's see how people react to it. Then we would um, do a video. So Kiki pissed off about it. She's saying that's some bullshit and all that kind of stuff. Talking about um, they need to be in L.A. grinding. They can't be doing the same stuff. And he was like, they want to do something different. He was like, yeah, if you want to do something different, use your own damn money. Don't call me about no damn money about this video. Don't do it. And I, and I get what she's saying, but I also really really get what he's saying like i'm not gonna keep issuing out money and money and money for songs and videos that ain't going nowhere and brianna you're not going anywhere i mean i'm just saying like her whole funky attitude her whack-ass music and i was liking her last season i guess because she was trying to do her music but still you know her education was important so i was liking her but her little stank-ass attitude this season i ain't selling um, and I think her mom is a bad look for her. I really think her mom is a real bad look for her. Um, but that's it with that. Then you get Saya and Bia. They go to Chloe's, um, show or whatever. And we can really hear what she sounded like. Um, 
so I can't really judge her off of her performance. But Dia and Saya was having a really nice time, so that was cool. Um, I think Saya, Naima had to work. So then you had Saya and her crew um, talking about her birthday and how it's coming up and how she want a party. So they was planning her party, and they asked her, did she want her mom and her sister to come? And she was like, I don't know right now, because um, she gave them some back history. I'm sorry. She gave them some back history of her mom and was saying how her dad took her when she was like six or seven because her mom was on drugs. But now her dad, I think, is doing life, and her mom is sober. So now she has a relationship with her mom, but she really didn't know if she wanted to turn her birthday into that kind of day or whatever. But she doesn't have far feeling for her mom. She just really wished her mom was there. But she understands that the drugs kind of took over. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, you can tell she really didn't really want to talk about it because it's very emotional for her. Um, but yeah, we all we all got them. I mean, had them. I mean, I'm just saying. All right, I'm just saying. It's, it's some of them in everybody's family style, so don't be embarrassed about that. I'm just saying. Oh, why did my thing go dark? Oh, there. Um, so, then you have Brianna and Naima, and Brianna, Naima, Bia, and Chloe meet up. And, you know, oh, this, that meet up was so draining just watching it because it was so awkward. Um, they were talking music and, you know, what each one of them is doing and how, um, Brianna is coming from Florida and, you know, stuff like that. So then, um, they asked Chloe about her and she was saying how she was starting to slip and slide, um, records. So then I think she asked Brianna who she signed to and Brianna was saying how she was signed to Atlantic Records, but... Her boy is, you know, her indie people or whatever. So, you know, I don't think that Chloe was throwing shade to Brianna. I think Brianna, that's how she was taking it. But I really don't think she was taking shade. She talks like a, a blonde, like a white girl blonde, like, you know, with a stereotypical little thing. That's what she seemed like, but that's probably where she grew up at in San Diego, off the beach, you know, just like one of them little valley girls, no shade to nobody, but that's how she comes off, and it was, I don't think it was shade towards Brianna, but like I said, Brianna took it as shade, because she didn't know who she was, and didn't know who uh, her boy records was, and okay, yeah, if you know, if you know Slip and Slide, you probably know her boy, but maybe only if you're living in Miami. And y'all said that's an indie record label, so maybe she just got signed. I don't know. It was, I think Brianna just took that way left. Um, so then Brianna meets up. I mean, she's at home with her mama. She's telling her mama about it and Kiki over here. Now Kiki feels some kind of way about the girl because the girl didn't know who the fuck her record label was. Really? 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 Okay, whatever. That's why y'all ain't motherfucking going nowhere. Because of that type of attitude. Um, so then you have Saya and Bia meet up at the park. And they're talking about family and how they are very similar. Even though Bia doesn't talk about her mom and her parents and family and stuff situation. But they very similar. She was telling Saya, like, you only have one mom. And, you know, they just had a really, really good talk in the park. So now it makes Saya think a little differently, I guess. Um... Brianna and her mom, they go talk with this guy named Darren. He's a publicist. They want to take their brand to the next level or whatever and just do more than just music, do acting, do clothing, do hair, or whatever, beauty, skin, whatever shit. And, you know, he was just telling them how much it's going to cost. It's going to cost a little hefty pity. So where y'all going to get that from? Your mama don't want to put it up on your video or your music. And homeboy ain't going to put it up. So we all get that money from. So then he's telling them about how he can get them a meeting with Leah Daniels, Lee Daniels' sister from Empire or whatever. She's a casting director. So they was all stoked about that. Um, then you have Saya's birthday. Her mom and her sister came. They are pretty. Um, and they just really sat down and talked. Her mama had me rolling because her mama is so excited to see Tank. It's not even 
funny. You know, back in the day, yeah, tank down, not so much. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, I was cracking up when her mom was excited about him. But then they end up start talking about, you know, um, the mom not being there, you know, not being around for her birthday since she was seven. And it's been 21 years. And, you know, her sister was trying to get her to open up. But she really didn't want to get open up because all she wanted is her mom now. You know what I'm saying? She just want to put all that behind her and have her mom now. It, she did have feelings about her mom, missing her mom because she was like, you know, her mom was like, maybe, you know, what you went through makes you to the woman you are today and stuff like that. And she was, you know, basically she would have gave all that up just to have her fucking mom. So, it's a touchy situation, but um, I just hope they work it out. They seem like they cool. The mom is real sober now. The daughter, the daughter seem cool. I just want them to, you know, get closer um, and talk it out because... I just think Saya didn't want to talk about it on camera, but I do think she's harboring feelings that she needs to get out so they can move forward. Um, then you have Saya's birthday party. Bia and Naima is there. And I'm sitting there like, where's the other girl? Like, y'all ain't working that hard that y'all couldn't come to this girl's birthday party. So, you know, it, it was a, a nice, fun birthday party. Everybody was there. Everybody was having fun. She was getting nice gifts. Tank arrived. That's what will have me rolling because, you know, the mama, like I said, she was geeked up, blushing like hell, turning red when he hugged her. But then Tank, you know, was like, we're not going to do the typical birthday song. We're going to remix it. And they all had to freestyle about Sia's birthday. And I thought that was really cool. I, I That was something new for me to see. And it was cool at the same damn time. Brianna and her mom and Darren meet up with Leah, um, the casting director. And she's basically asking Brianna questions about, you know, transitioning from music to acting or whatever. And they were trying to make it seem like she wasn't going to do music no more. She was just going to do acting. But I'm like, Brianna, can you speak up? Brianna don't know how to talk. Like, I understand your mom is overbearing and always over talking to you. But you act like you don't know how to say nothing. You act like you don't know how to conform a sentence when you're in business meetings. And you sit there like a lost ass puppy. I understand that her manager do supposed to do the meeting or whatever, but she be acting like a deer caught in headlights to me. Um, but the lady was just telling her she needs to do training classes, she needs to do workshops. She just really needs to get her feet wet before she jump into something. And they were talking about Empire. I think they were just trying to brand Empire because I don't see her. Well, no, don't see it. Mm -mm. Everybody that's on Empire fits on Empire. Brianna don't fit on Empire. Don't do it. I'm just saying. Unless the bitch is an extra, I don't see it. Um. Anyway, so the last part was all the ladies get together. Even Diamond was there with her boo. I was surprised. Really didn't say nothing, but she is together a little bit. Um. But everybody's there. Uh. What's her name? Brianna and her mom come. Why? Why is Kiki always there? You're the manager. This shouldn't have been a party for you. Man, go home. Make some phone calls, email, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter. I don't know. Just go the fuck home. I don't think Kiki should have been at this get-together party, uh, getting to know each other, networking type of shit whatsoever. Nobody else's managers are hanging on like leeches but her. Um... So when Chloe arrived, Brianna and her mama acting petty as hell when she walks in. The mama like, she don't look like no star. Neither do your daughter. Just saying. She looks like a regular fucking typical girl. I mean, come on. Um, then, what's her name? Chloe going around. She's speaking to everybody. Um, and when, you know... Brianna just keeps side eyeing her. Kiki gets um with like, I know a lot about you. I'm good. Really? You don't know nothing about her but what your daughter fucking told you. Then she was like, Okay, it's okay, you not the artist. Like bitch, you the mama girl. you're not even supposed to fucking be here. That's what she should have told her. Your ass should be at home. Then you know, they shading her so she shades the fuck back. 
And Brianna gets mad. Don't talk to her like that. That's you and you address me. That's my mama. Oh, that your mama shouldn't be there. Your mama shouldn't have started it. She wouldn't have got the backlash of the girl. The girl did not come in there on no rah rah shit. She didn't come on there on no shady shit. Y'all just started with her. Like, fuck. Like, um. So then, Brianna hits the girl hat. So the girl tries to pick up something. Uh, people, if you're going to try to pick up something, make sure you in distance enough to pick up things and the person can't hit you while you picking up something, because that takes time out to fight, I'm just saying. So, while she trying to pick up something, Brianna swings on her, I think Kiki was trying to grab her, then somebody grabbed Kiki, then it, it was just a fucking hot ass mess. It was a hot ass mess with some hot ass bitches because Kiki and Brianna was fucking wrong they was bitches and then um next thing you know I don't know if the police was motherfucking outside standing at the door I don't know but the police end up going in there and arresting calling her out and arresting her like she should have you hit her first you and your mama should have got fucking arrested I'm just saying come on I mean, but, I mean, I'm just saying, like, if mom, if I'm fighting my mom, no, nah, my mama wouldn't jump in, but if I would have, my mama would have been fighting, I would have jumped in, you know, my mama wouldn't have jumped in, she would have just let that fight happen, my mom grown for that shit, uh, unless I'm getting fucking stumped out, my mama not gonna jump in no one-on-one motherfucking fight, um, but yeah, so that's what all happened on Sisterhood of Hip Hop, and I was so fucking irritated with Brianna and her mom, like, really? Really? And then when she said something about when Brian, I mean, Chloe said something about Kiki's shirt, you got a motherfucking diamond over there talking, making some little smart ass comment, and you're not trying to egg it on, but I'm like, no, you should have stopped them bitches at that table, or you shouldn't have said nothing at all. I'm just saying. Because I don't even think Sayo was selling that bullshit at all. I wasn't, I hope the world wasn't, because that girl did not deserve that. Um, but anyway, that's my review. If you're new to my channel, I'm your girl, Miss Nika. Everything social media I do is by the ghetto view. So add me and I'll add you back. Talk to me. I'll talk to you back. All right. Uh, make sure you check out Ashley Miller and also Molly Cruz. I think it's 4209. I think it's her channel. Um, where she also do Sisterhood of Hip Hop. So go check her out. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. All right. Peace out.